Hey guys, this is Minecraft Master, and we're here for another Minecraft mod review. Yeah. <laughs> um, I realize that so I've been talking a whole lot about in in my mo uh, multi mod survival. I've been talking a whole lot about the in game shop. Um, but I haven't actually, you know, showed you guys what uh, how it works or what it does. So I decided I would do a mod review on it. <laughs> And so here we are. Um, this is a very interesting mod. Uh, if you guys don't watch my multi mod survival, then I'll explain basically what it does. Basically, what it does is it adds a new in game shop to Minecraft where you can trade things out and technically buy things. You can sell things. Um, you can sell things for points, then you can buy other things. So let's say. Uh. I don't know exactly, but here's a problem I'm having in my multi mod survival. I need like 40 diamonds for everything, uh, for all the things I need to make, and so I'm gonna, you know, eventually make this. That way I can do it. Um, and I can sell wood and stuff and get points for diamonds, and I can buy them. I'll I'll give show you as soon as I uh, <laughs> as soon as we do this. So, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need 10 of these transmatter circuits, which is, also this entire thing takes about 15 diamonds, so, so yeah, you're going to need 10 of these transmatter circuits, which is, which is at the very top of the crafting table, a diamond uh, next to two glowstone dusts and three oak wood at the bottom, and you'll get your transmatter circuit. Then, with one of those transmatter circuits, you're going to need to make a catalog station. And you can make that with five diamonds, three iron, and, yeah, like I said, a transmatter circuit. You only need one catalog station, and you're going to need nine transmatter pads. And you're going to need ten of those circuits because you need one here and nine here. Um, so, yeah, and then you'll get your transmatter pads by surrounding them with iron and, yeah. It's pretty simple. I'm actually just gonna snatch the stuff. That way, I could sell it. I guess I'm not exactly sure. I think you can sell a whole lot. You can even sell dirt. <laughs> um. So yeah, let's set it up. Basically, you need to you need to mine out a three by three grid. And as you can see, the transmitter pads will link. It has to be a three by three grid because it will not work um, as a two by two. It won't even work as one. It has to be at least a three by three. Um, and then you, at the edge of it, you will place down your catalog station, which I think looks pretty nice. And there you go. You have your in-game shop. I mean, this is what it looks like. I'm sure some of you wouldn't didn't expect it to look like this. But now here's how we do this. Uh, you can buy. Here are all the things that you can. Ooh, you can buy some in secret. I didn't even realize that. Uh, so yeah, you can buy blocks. Why is it not? All right. So you can buy blocks. You can buy all of these blocks. You just gotta scroll down. You can even buy endstone. Ooh, that's 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 pretty cool. Actually, can you buy them? You can buy mossy stone bricks. Can you? You can't buy moss stone. <laughs> That's weird. Um, you can buy a lot of different foods. You can't buy carrots so, all. Uh, um, you can buy ender pearls. Oh, that'll, there's so many useful things in here that you could get. You can even get blaze rods. You can buy seeds. Um, and you can buy all these ores. It's kind of an interesting looking setup. You can buy spawn eggs. You can bra buy the dragon egg. That's a lot. Of, that's a whole lot of coins, though. That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize you could. Oh, wow. Th these those are really expensive. A diamond. How much is a diamond? A diamond's fifty. So, you, then you could also sell pretty much anything you can buy, I think. I 
think. Uh, actually, there's a couple things that you can buy that you can't sell, I believe. Um, but yeah, let's say you have like f ten stacks of dirt. You can probably get a di like a diamond with that. <laughs> I don't know. Dirt is worth. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, but I have all these. I'm going to he head and sell some diamonds. Now, the way you sell and buy things, the first time I did this, I'm like, what is this? first of all, what is this pad used for, and why can't I sell this? How do I sell this? Well, here's how it works. You have to throw an item on the pad. Give it a second. Uh. Huh, wait. Oh, yeah, and then you click on that. Click add. What the? Wait. Man, hold on. I think now I I just had to. Oh, I I'm in buy. My bad. Click sell, and then you click sell, and it will disappear from the platform. I'll do that again. Uh, why do I always go and buy? It keeps messing me up. <laughs> As you see, it doesn't let me sell because there's nothing on the platform. I'll throw that on. I have three diamonds in my inventory. Um, and sell. And it gets off the platform. And I only have three diamonds. So it's really neat. And now I have 70 coins. And what can I buy? I can buy... How much is an ender pearl? 30. Buy. And it, it, like, pops out of the platform, so. And then you can pick it up, and then you got it. it it's a really nice system. It's really useful for survival. <laughs> That's why I'm going to make it. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and always stay tuned for the next episode of the next mod review and the next multi-modded survival. Um, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time.